Welcome to the Neuropathy Support Group and Podcast. I'm Chris, and I'm so glad you tuned in. It's my hope with this podcast to help all of us gather information that might help those that need support dealing with this debilitating issue. Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Before we get started, let's get the formalities out of the way with the medical and privacy disclaimer. I am not a doctor or medical professional. The information on this podcast is from personal experiences and is meant for group support. Additionally, the information discussed is not meant to diagnose, treat, or cure any underlying conditions associated with neuropathy. All names here within are private and will not be shared with any outside sources. Please consult your health care provider before making any health decisions. If you have medical concerns or an immediate emergency, please contact your doctor or dial 911. Hello, and how's everyone doing today? This is going to be one of my short episodes. It's going to be discussing the different stages of neuropathy and how it correlates with the pain that you have and it also gives you the progression to let you know what stage you might be on in regards to your pain. Again, I will post all this information on my Facebook page at Neuropathy Support Group and Podcast. And that will give you verification of what I'm talking about today. So stage one starts with numbness and pain. When peripheral neuropathy first starts, you'll feel some pain and numbness off and on. These symptoms don't cure all the time, and they're often subtle. You may feel a little bit of discomfort in your foot, for example, every few weeks. In some cases, the symptoms may be so minor, you go months between experiencing them. You may also notice the sensations on your feet aren't as strong as they used to be, and that your balance and reflexes are a little bit off. Most people ignore these symptoms because they're so minor or rare that they don't realize something is wrong. Stage two is more regular symptoms. When your neuropathy progresses to stage two, the pain and numbness will be more consistent and regular. It's hard to say when you move from stage one to stage two But one thing is certain, you'll notice your symptoms more often. It becomes harder to ignore them. Many people in stage 2 realize that something is wrong and book an appointment with their doctor. During stage 2, it's very likely that by treating the underlying conditions beyond your neuropathy, you can fully cure the nerve damage. However, this is often the edge of no return. The next several stages often lead to permanent nerve damage. Stage 3. The pain reaches its high point. When you're at stage 3, the neuropathy, you're feeling a good amount of pain daily and almost every day. This pain is so great that it's impacting your life in a number of negative ways. You may have tried several pain medications, but discovered that they don't help. You're also likely suffering from the symptoms of other nerve damage. Due to nerve damage, you may not feel injuries to your lower leg and feet. It can also take much longer for cuts and other damage to your feet to heal, which can lead to festering wounds. Infection can set in if you're not careful. Stage 4. Constant Numbness By stage 4, your lower legs and feet will start becoming very numb because there will no longer be any healthy nerves to carry signals to the brain. The pain will actually start to decline, but that's not a good thing. It indicates that the nerves are dying. While the relief may be nice, it also shows that much of the small nerve damage has disintegrated. The large fibers are now beginning to become permanently damaged too. Your balance is likely affected by this and you may find that it's difficult to walk. 
At stage four, nerve damage is permanent. It's still possible to see some improvement, but overall, you're going to have to live with some of the numbness. And at that point, you do need to seek treatment for whatever condition is causing the neuropathy right away. And finally, we come to stage five, total loss of feeling. By stage five, you've lost all feeling in your lower legs and feet. You're not in any pain because there are no longer any nerves capable of sending signals to your brain. It's hard to walk and you feel unsteady most of the time. You may actually have to use a wheelchair some or all the time. Any small cut to your feet could become infected and lead to amputation. This is a very serious condition. Your nerves are permanently damaged and there's no way to restore them to what they originally were. It may be possible to regenerate some of the nerve fibers though, so there is hope. So there you go. Those are the stages of neuropathy. Now, I know I know what it says here in regards to you may be able to regenerate some of the nerve fibers, but I in my mind and all the uh, investigation that I've done on this topic, I could not find anywhere where it says that you're going to get your nerves back. You'll be able to fix them. You'll be able to regenerate them. I don't think so. And this is my opinion. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, but that's my opinion. And from everything I've studied, that this is not possible. Once the nerves are damaged, that's pretty much it. And I'm probably at around stage four. Starting to go into stage five. But yeah, I'm at stage four. But I hope this information might help you to understand more what the stages are and why some things are happening more often or are actually starting to hurt more. Okay? So, thank you very much for everything you guys do. Thank you very much for listening to my podcast. And I will talk to you again on Monday with a brand new episode. As we come to a close, it's my hope this podcast and other sources, such as product reviews that I have discussed today, can better our lives and give us some relief dealing with neuropathy. This episode plus others are posted every Monday on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. And finally, whatever life throws at you, even if it hurts you, just be strong and fight through it. Remember, strong walls shake, but never collapse. Talk to you next Monday.